Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. And today I have a request a video uh, about my Miltonia Peterkamp. And the request is coming from Mary G, Mary G Orchid. And she has a uh, Peterkamp as well, which is now uh, potted in inorganic media. And she was asking if I could an update, do an update on mine to see if this one want to grow in, in uh, semi-hydroponic or self-watering. Uh, self uh, in, my in my case it's self-watering, but it's basically uh, or almost the same. So yeah, a short uh, answer would, uh, would be yes. It can uh, can be grow if you ask me in, in semi-hydroponic. Uh, currently uh, I have mine, like I said, the cell watering and you can see it's blooming. It has one spike here, another spike here. Those are... no, those are not coming from the same bulb. Because this one in the back had two spikes, but uh, one is already gone. So this spike is coming from the bulb in the back. And the bulbs, I hope you can see it. I'm filming this in the evening. They are uh, quite nice. Shape, no, not uh, shriveled at all. They have a little bit, uh, yeah, I hope you can see it. A little bit of shine on them. So they are really do looking uh, good. But I must admit, this is one of my oldest Miltonias that I tried in uh, self-watering. So I'm talking about four years ago, and then I started growing in this method. And I, as a grower, had a lot to learn. So it's not a, a very big plant, and I th believe that the blooms can be a little bit bigger and probably a little bit more intense of color. I have a uh, LD, uh, LED light on, so that's also influencing the color a little bit. But anyhow, um, so... Yeah, because I did so many things wrong, I had to recover this uh, plant uh, uh, for for twice now, not once but twice, because I yeah, like I said, I missed uh, did uh, mess it up uh, too much. But on the other hand, you could say this is a fairly strong plant because I had to keep up with quite a lot of uh, learning processes uh, on my end, uh, and she did. But it's um, I'm going to grab it out of uh, the outer pot and. I don't think we will see much roots. Uh, it's fairly dark as well. Um, I have a little bit of pumice here with a uh, mix with Cintiq and uh, Ceramus. But the Ceramus I had laying around probably was in the previous pot. Otherwise I wouldn't use Ceramus. So you were thinking uh, putting this in uh, pumice cell watering. Yes, I think that would be a very beautiful uh, media for this one but I'm sorry um, I would do a little bit of Cintiq as well in my case but not every plant is the same I have uh, like my Miltonia sunsets are doing uh, having no problem at all growing in cell watering and like I said I had to um, rehabilitate this plant uh, twice at least so yeah it's not a very strong plant my doing but on the other end it has three spikes and it's doing uh, well it's almost done blooming now for weeks so and the bul bulbs do, uh, do look uh, pretty uh, well um, I'm, yeah I'm going to continue this story but I, I think I need to get it in the orchid room I have a little bit more better lighting there so give me a second and I will be right back and I am back so yeah, this is way better. This is the uh, old part of the plant, so don't be in shock. <laughs> Those are all the bulbs, so they are, as you can see, way smaller. And so yeah, if you consider four years, well, probably two years of, uh, two and a half years of quite some struggles, I think it's a fairly good looking plant. These are some old leaves, they are go, uh, getting off. That's perfectly fine and normal, but um, as you can see, I have some troubles getting the roots in the pot. They are finally going in now because I've had because I did put a layer of Cintiq there. So this one does like the Cintiq. I hope you can see now the roots going in the pot. They are not showing up on the side yet, yet just a little bit, not much. But it's finally starting to grow some roots in the pot. So I hope, and we have root tips there, branches, I hope you can see that. So my goal, for, uh, for coming season is to get this one to grow uh, better, to get a root system in that pot. 
but apparently she has roots in the paws um, that you cannot see maybe I can show some you can see here some roots going uh, down into the pot as well but otherwise she couldn't support these spikes so she has roots in the pot uh, but not um, the filter pot up with roots so therefore we cannot see them on the sides of the pot yet it's a fairly big story because I want to give you a uh, honest uh, answer of course and my answer is honest I, I really think this one can grow but I this one struggled and I think I need to uh, tell you that uh, so we can better judge but yeah I see no problems at all and this is um, the best looking at the moment for uh, for several years now so that's that means something so that's why my answer is yes but just keep an eye on those roots if they really want to go in the media and perhaps if um, if they don't you need to support them a little bit uh, with some um, inorganic media that holds a little bit more water which does like uh, which has the sort of same effect as uh, sphagnum moss that's basically what I'm trying to explain so in my case I use Cintiq I don't know if you have it I don't know if you can even can get it it's not um, oh, um, yeah I think in Europe you can find the Cintiq but in the US in America it's fairly hard and I probably it's not very hard to get it in uh, England as well but if I if I didn't have Cintiq, I would use that wicking wire. You probably know what I mean. The wicking wire you can use as well for self-watering pots. You have those wicks on the knees. And uh, for example, on Amazon, if I don't forget, I will give you a link just to be sure. But you can buy them and then you have probably 20 meters uh, of, of um, wicking wire. And that you can use in the same way as Cintiq. Just just to give you a little idea what may be, uh, be useful. The downside is that pro most of the times it's a wet, uh, white, I'm sorry, a white material, so therefore you may get a little bit more, uh, more algae. But then on the other hand, what you also could do, what I didn't do with this one, but what I had, uh, could have done is put a top layer of pebbles to stop the algae and to prevent the pot from getting a top dry layer. But uh, just some, some ideas, so you know what I, how I look at this plant, I keep an eye on it and I um, yeah, try to, uh, to uh, yeah, li basically listen to the plant. She was telling me that she needed something uh, yeah, to get it a little bit easier, probably more uh, immunity, I'm not completely sure. But this is the only uh, Miltonia that really needs that, the other ones... Um, yeah, I have some also with Cintiq, but not as a top layer. That's basically what I mean. So, for <laughs> I hope I uh, explain it uh, well, um, and I think I did cover the the most important care part of this one, uh, how I uh, treated it and what it happened uh, through the years. For the rest, it just does get the same um, care as the rest. So I try to give it uh, quite some light. Methonias, in my uh, opinion, do like the light, but I keep an eye on the leaves. If they start to almost get yellow, it's too much. This is okay. It's almost a little teeny tiny bit on a dark side, but it's okay because it's, uh, it's blooming and she needs the light to bloom. So it's okay, but I wouldn't get those leaves darker than this. Funny thing with this one is, you may have spotted already, but this has a variegation going on on this growth. It, is, uh, it has a rhizome, so there are two directions of growth. There goes one of my lights. <laughs> it's that time of day. But um, yeah, this part is, isn't uh, variegated, so I have no idea why. But this one started the variegation, so it's probably in the plant. Personally, I like the green leaves better, but that doesn't matter much. And fertilizer is the same as the rest, like I said. In summer, something between 100 to 150, and in winter, these days, I'm lowering it um, from 100 to 80, and then if it really gets cold, I keep it around 50, uh, because they don't uh, grow much. But I keep my uh, nights at uh, 18 degrees, because I have it in water, so I don't want it to get too cold. And during the day, it's at least 20, but I try to get it a little bit higher depending if the sun is shining but if it really is winter it will stay at 20 degrees during the day but most of the times a little bit of sun will take it up to 22 23 something like that 
But, um, yeah, that's uh, basically my care. So I hope, uh, Mary G, this is uh, giving you some answer to your uh, requests, your questions. And also for my other subscribers as well. Uh, but if you have any questions left or anybody else has some questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I would be happy to answer them. Or any suggestions, maybe you have, maybe you have a request for yourself. Uh, I, uh, I really like doing requests, so I uh, don't mind. Let me know what you would like to see or hear me talk about, and I will uh, make a video about it. So guys, thank you for now for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.